Now we'll take one more step towards long division. My favorite algorithm, said nobody ever. Uh, so let's take a look at that long division problem. So here's 167,319 divided by 219. Now before we launch into long division, let's do this by partial quotients. And so what we might start out for reference is we might consider a table of multiples of 219. So I'll start with the 1 times 219 equals 219. And we might begin by trying to find the correct order of magnitude. So times 10, uh, times 100, times 1,000, that's too big. So I don't actually need to go that far. I'll just do the times 100. And, well, let's see if I can get a little bit closer to my target number here, 67,319. So the easy thing I might do is I might take twice as many 219s. So that's easy to do. 221,900 double, that's 42,000 plus 1,800, that's 43,800. And there's 200 219s. Notice that if I double this again, 400 219s, that's about 87,000, which is more than what I have. So I don't actually need to do that next doubling. It may be useful later on, but for right now I don't need it. But this gives me a good point to start. I can start by subtracting 200, 219. So that's 43,800. So I'll start with my dividend. I'll subtract 200 of my divisors, and here's what I have left over. And a quick comparison between what I have left over and my table says that I can also subtract another 100 219s. And that takes me down to 1,619. Now here's something that's useful to keep in mind. I've already done this work. So what I can do is I can modify my table of multiples for smaller multiples of 219. Well, all I did here, really, all the purpose of these extra zeros is, is to add on to there. So I can just drop those zeros and get smaller multiples. Now, notice that if I drop that first set of zeros by 10 times 219, 2,190, already more than I have left over. So I don't even have a 10 219s. I have to look at even smaller multiples. And again, I can work with these or I can continue to double. So if this is two 219s, if I were to take twice as many, I'd get four 219s, 876. And again, take twice as many 219s. And 1,752, that's too much. But here's something that's worth noting. It's pretty close. So if I had to estimate what this quotient would be, it's going to be two 300 and close to eight. Uh, but if we wanted to get the actual value of the quotient, we'll go ahead and use what we have. I can subtract four 219s, so I'll get rid of that. And I can subtract two 219s. And I still have one more 219 I can subtract. And now I have 86, which is smaller than my divisor, and so I can't subtract anything else. So the sum is the quotient. It's how many 219s I've subtracted. And we'll go ahead and add that up to 307. And what's left over is the remainder, 86. So I can say that this divided by 219, quotient is 307 divided by 86.